Hi everyone, today in content, we are going to be working on science and we're going to be reading out of this blue book, Structures to Life. Okay, so we'll be reading out of the first investigation. That is labeled the reason for fruits. A fresh, sweet apricot is a treat. Peaches, plums, and cherries and apricots are favorite summer fruits. They are delicious and healthy, but watch out, there's a pit in the middle. The pit of a peach or an apricot is too big and hard to eat. You have to eat around it and throw it away. The pit is an interesting part of the fruit. The pit is actually a seed. Do you know what is inside a seed? It's a baby plant waiting for a chance to grow. Some fruits are not usually thought of as fruit. For instance, avocados and olives are fruits. Avocados and olives are not sweet. So why are they called fruit? Avocados and olives are fruits because they have seeds. The part of a plant that holds the seed is the fruit. Have you ever seen what's inside an avocado? It has one huge seed. So here's an avocado and its seed, an apricot and its seed, a peach and its seed, and olives and their seeds. How many seeds? Peaches, plums, and other pitted fruits have one seed. Other fruits have many seeds. Some grapes have three or four seeds. Apples, pears, green beans, and oranges might have six or seven seeds. That's quite a few chances for a new plant to grow. Some fruits have dozens of seeds. Have you ever counted the seeds in a watermelon? How about in a tomato, pumpkin, or pomegranate? The kiwi is a fruit. The kiwi fruit might have the most seeds for its size. It has hundreds of seeds. Why do plants make seeds? No plant lives forever. Some plants live for thousands of years, like giant redwood trees. Others live for only a few months, like the annual blanket flower. But each plant dies when it gets old. Because organisms die, Every kind of organism must reproduce. When plants reproduce, they make new organisms, just like themselves. Peach trees make new peach trees. Tomato plants make new tomato plants. Watermelon plants make new watermelon plants. Every kind of plant makes baby plants to replace those that get old and die. Seeds are the reproductive structures of most plants. Every seed contains a baby plant called an embryo. The embryo in the seed is in a dormant or resting stage. You can see the embryo if you are careful. Soak a large seed in water overnight, then carefully open the two halves of the seed. The embryo will be stuck to one side of the seed. The function of fruit. The fruit that holds a plant's seed is often large. The seeds in apples are much smaller than the apple. The seeds in pumpkins are much smaller than the pumpkin. Fruits are also bright colors. Some cherries are red and some grapes are purple. Why are the fruits so large and colorful? The structure of the fruit has several functions. These functions help the plant survive and reproduce. The developing seed needs to be protected from weather and predators. Large fruits provide a protective covering that keeps the embryos in the seed safe. After a seed starts to grow, it needs water, light, and minerals. Sometimes the baby plant tries to grow right beneath the parent plant. When that happens, the baby plant has to complete has to compete with the larger 
parent plant. A new plant has a better chance to survive if it can move away from the parent plant. Here's where it helps to be colorful. Brightly colored fruits. Brightly colored sweet fruits attracts animals. The animals carry the fruit away to eat it, but sometimes they don't eat all the seeds. They drop them far away from the parent plant. The fruit helps the plant reproduce by attracting animals to carry the seeds to new locations. Seeds come in all sizes and shapes. Fruits come in all sizes and colors. Even though there is a great variety of seeds and fruits, their purpose is always the same. Seeds and fruits are structures that help plants survive and reproduce. What do Thompson grapes, bananas, and navel oranges have in common? They are all seedless fruits. Sometimes an individual plant will bear fruits that don't have seeds. This is not a good thing for the plant. You probably know why. It is nice for people because the seedless fruits are easier to eat. That's why seedless fruits are found in the market. Did you ever wonder how plants that don't have seeds reproduce? All right, on Canvas, you are going to answer these four questions in a quiz. So make sure that you answer these four questions. Remember, if you need to go back and rewatch the video to find your answers, go ahead and do that.